everyone's favorite topic, the resume. I doubt that many people actually enjoy writing their resume, but unfortunately it is a required part of a job search. Well, actually in a later video, I'll argue that this is not the case, but for now, let's leave it at that. In order to maximize your chances of getting an interview, you will most likely need a resume. A brief document that someone will glance over it about 10 seconds and decide if you are worth talking to for a potential interview or phone interview. How can we increase the odds here? Now, resumes are a bane to everyone's existence. Nobody likes writing them. And no employer offers a job just because of somebody's resume. So you need to treat it accordingly. Resumes are simply a way to get interviews. And again, you'll see soon that it's not the only way. Spend very little amount of time on your resume, no longer than a day. Look at the types of jobs that you want to have and have the words and characteristics described in those job postings on your resume. Finally, make it personal for each position you apply to so that employer's names is on the resume. It will take you 10 seconds, but by doing just those things, it already puts you above most people that just send mass amount of resumes that look the same. Now, before we get into the details of how to make a resume look good, I want to show you a really nice tool. This is the resumemaker.online, a free tool that just creates a resume for you or gives you a nice design and a template that you can just fill out yourself. There are others like it online, so you shouldn't really format your own resume. I mean, you're a programmer, you're a developer, you should spend your time coding and use the skills that other people have in design to improve your resume. So unless you're a designer, you don't really need to focus on making your resume visually appealing, and you can just use a template like this one. Most of your time, like I said, is better spent on other things. And again, remember what I said, in most cases, resumes get viewed for only 10 seconds by a recruiter, and they'll decide quickly if they should contact you for an in-person interview or a phone interview. Most people spend too much time on the resumes, tweaking small things, changing fonts, and it's just a waste of time. Once you have a good resume that returns a good result, then you're all set and you shouldn't stress about it. And keep in mind that some companies that get a lot of resumes don't even have humans actually looking at the resume. And initially they have some sort of an algorithm search that looks for keywords on your resume based on their job description. So let's go back to the slides. Now I'm gonna give you a cheat sheet in the next video and do a bit of an exercise that goes into a little bit more detail. But for now, let's follow these key points for having a nice resume. Resumes should be one page only. And unless you're an executive or something like that, you won't need more than a page. Second, make sure that your resume contains relevant skills. Each job has a specific requirement and they're looking for specific skills. These form great keywords to use in your resume. You can highlight the relevant skills in your professional summary that enables the employer to quickly get a grasp of the most impressive and important things in your profile. So again, try to use the keywords that they use in the job description in your resume. Thirdly, you want to make it look personal, like you didn't just mass email a bunch of companies. And one of the biggest mistakes you can make is to use the same resume for each job application. That doesn't mean making your resume handcrafted each time spending hours for each company because most of the time your resume will look the same. It's very easy to customize a resume though, maybe changing a headline or a summary section at the top where you can convey a, in a sentence how you would fit well with the company or even just mention the particular company you're applying for. And then finally, you want to have some sort of an online link. You want to highlight perhaps your GitHub, your blog posts, portfolio websites. As a developer, you should have something that is present online for you to showcase to an employer. As a matter of fact, that is more impressive than a resume. And this is something we'll talk about later in this section. But that should be clearly highlighted on your resume. All right, these are just bullet points and it's kind of hard to explain this without actually showing you a demo. So it's time for a little exercise. I have a little resume cheat sheet for you 
And in the next video, I'm going to show you an example of a bad resume, then use the checklist to see how we can improve it. I'll see you in that one.